Hey guys, it's me, David. And guys, the summer 2018 LEGO Star Wars set images were just revealed here a few minutes ago. Um, we got four sets. I'll put the images up right now. Um, we got four set reveals, um, not all of them surprisingly, um, but we're gonna dive in. We're gonna take a look at them real quick here in just a minute. But quickly, I wanna share a very interesting story to you guys. I promise it's something you might wanna hear. And I think a lot of you might be a little fascinated about this. So quickly, Going back to a couple months ago on my YouTube channel, I went up to New York Toy Fair and up in Toy Fair, Lego for the first time in like 10 years did not show the entire Lego product line, not just for Lego Star Wars, but just the entire Lego product line. They only showed sets up until around April of this year, so last month from this video. Um, and I asked a PR representative at Lego, I said, how come you guys aren't showing the summer sets and all of that? Usually Lego will show sets that come uh, that are released all the way up until around August or June at Toy Fair, usually the, the following nine months after Toy Fair that you see all the products. And I asked Lego, you know, why are you guys uh, not showing the entire product line? They told me that what they're doing is they're going to have a separate event, which happened today, uh, showcasing the rest of the, not just the Lego Star Wars line, but all the other Lego lines. Um, and so basically they were saying they're dividing these product reveals into two different events, Toy Fair and Lego's own personal event. Um, and I actually got invited to go up to New York City, which is where it was at today, um, to see all these products. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it, but um, the Brick Show uh, got to go up there and they put some pictures out online that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So I'll link their YouTube channel down below. And I'm also getting information from um, Alan on the brickfan.com. So I've also uh, linked his uh, wonderful Lego news site down below as well. So if you guys want to check out uh, those guys down below. Um, but that's where I'm getting the feeds from. And of course, Lego's Facebook showed the actual product images, which I'm showing here on screen. But yeah, anyhow, back to uh, Toy Fair and this new Lego event. The reason why they're splitting uh, this product reveal into two separate events is simply because and I was, it's a simple answer and you wouldn't think of it, but it's actually because of the Chinese brand knockoffs. No joke. It's uh, Lego's, uh, like this is Lego's response to Lepin and all those other fake Lego manufacturers in China. It's usually China. Um, this is their official response to that. Now they've done copyright stuff and tried to, you know, get as many, get rid of as many manufacturers as possible. But uh, Lepin, especially, they've gotten to the point where they can reproduce basically exact versions of the Lego Star Wars sets and really all Lego sets at the same point that the real Lego Star Wars sets are being released. Um, a great example is I think Lepin put out a, an ult Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon in December and the actual one of course got released in like September October um, so Lepin and this particular Chinese knockoff brand has been able to uh, really copy and and make these Lego sets uh, in an exponential rate um, based off these product pictures and these product reveals so this is Lego's response saying hey we're not gonna let these fake Chinese brands see our entire product line for um, the entire year we can't allow that uh, for them to get ahead and and get these fake sets out so early alongside of our products uh, being released so so this is lego's response to that and i find it extremely interesting that lego is taking this approach um and also i should say that i'm not being told by lego to say any of this this is something i f i figured a lot of the fan community would be interested in on i know uh chinese knockoffs have been a big deal over the last couple of years so it's interesting to see lego finally taking a real stance against them um it sucks though because we don't get to see all the products at one point instead you know they're dividing the information in half but um regardless i think it's very interesting so Thought that would be a cool story for you guys. Without ado, let's get into these set pictures. Um, so first off, I'm gonna dive into the probably the most interesting set, um, which is the X-Wing Starfighter. Uh, I know the th throne room is just as cool, but the X-Wing has been something a lot of fans, and I mean all fans, have been waiting to get their hands on another version of the X-Wing. Last time we got one was in 2012. I think this is the third, fourth, or fifth iteration if you count the Ultimate Collector Series version. What's interesting about this set is it looks very similar to the Ultimate Collector Series version. We get four minifigures, um, one of which is Luke, uh, R2-D2. I think it's Wedge, and then we also get uh, some type of silver and green astromech droid. Um, 
but the other pilot, I'm not sure if that's Wedge or some other uh, person, not quite sure, but it is a um, Red Squadron version of the X-Wing, and it retails for $80. So it's a bit pricey. It's a bit more expensive than the last version we got. I think the last version was $60 back in 2012. So that same price hike we've been seeing in all LEGO Star Wars and just all LEGO sets in general over the last couple of years. All right, now on to the... What I personally think is the favorite of, of all four of these, but you know I know how divided The Last Jedi is among Star Wars fans at the moment, um, but it is Snook's Throne Room. This set looks fantastic. It's a little smaller than I, uh, than I had anticipated from, based off the rumors, but uh, it, regardless, it looks great. I think everybody's going to buy this set um, for those Pythorian guards, and I, I'm sorry if I butchered the name, um, but you also get uh, Snook, you get Kylo Ren, and of course Rey. This is like such an amazing like a Star Wars uh, scene in The Last Jedi, and I think a lot of like uh, a lot of like Star Wars, but also a lot of Star Wars fans can agree this is like one of the best Star Wars scenes we've ever gotten. Um, so getting it in the Lego set is awesome. It's very similar to the Emperor Emperor's Throne Room set that we've gotten in the previous years, as well as um, I think the Palpatine. Uh, was that the, it was like the Palpatine you know fight scene from uh, Revenge of the Sith so it's in that type of realm of like playability and all that looks like you can spin uh, Snook's uh, chair around that looks awesome um, I hope that elevator moves and I hope there's some other features where you know, I'd love I can't tell based off the pictures but I'd love it to somehow be able to cut Snook in half sorry for the spoiler but I'm sure a lot of you have seen the movie by now um but anyhow so i think that would be a really cool feature it doesn't look like it but i can't quite tell so maybe i'll be surprised once we get our hands on the set regardless the throne looks uh throne room looks great it is 70 dollars, but uh i'd rather buy this set than the x-wing because of the minifigures um i don't have piece counts here so can't quite tell um what's valued at the best but I think this is like the best value out of all these new Lego Star Wars sets. Speaking of value, going on to the Sandcrawler, this retails for $140. Um, I'm a bit underwhelmed with the Sandcrawler. It, it's literally a mini version of uh, the Ultimate Collector series uh, Sandcrawler we got a couple years ago. It kind of looks chibi-ish, you know, the Japanese chibi uh, style. It kind of looks like it's just a shrunken down version of the Ultimate Collector series set. I, I had anticipated that it would be more like the 2007 version of the Sandcrawler we got, which I had that set when I was younger, and I loved that set to death, and I loved the ability to like take things out, and there were so many features in it. This set looks like it has features, and it looks good, but I don't know. I'm a little underwhelmed by the look of it. Maybe that's because I have the Ultimate Collector series set, so I'd, I'd Personally, I'd rather just buy the Ultimate Collector Series set for more money than, than buy this. But regardless, I'll be picking it up. I'll have to see what it's like in my review. But uh, it looks good. We get some new minifigures at least. Um, I think uh, one a lot of people have been wanting is that medical type of droid. It's all beaten up. And I think that's one a lot of LEGO Wars fans have been missing out on their collection of figures. So that's awesome. New designs of the Jawas. I think it's a new version of Luke and some other new droids as well. Um, $140 is a big ask. I don't know what the piece count is, but uh, we'll have to see once this set comes out. Um, now, the last set we have is a throwback set, and that is Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. So, fun fact, um, the there was a this is the second version of it. We got the original uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter all the way back in 2007, so a little more than 10 years ago now, surprisingly. And that set was the very first Clone Wars set that we ever got, uh, anticipating what would be the Clone Wars movie and, of course, the TV show. Um, so I found it very interesting that we're finally getting uh, a new version of the Anakin Jedi Starfighter. I don't think anybody was really asking for this set, so I'm, I'm surprised that LEGO made it. Um, I'm curious to see how well it sells. I'm surprised they didn't do some other Jedi Starfighter, um, like, uh, I don't know, Quinlan Boss or something like that. So I'm a little I'm a little surprised by uh, they, they decided to make this set of all of them uh, again. Regardless, it does look good. The design is updated and looks really nice. Um, we get a new version of Anakin, which is great. Um, R2-D2 looks the same. It is only $20, so that's nice. But again, you only get two minifigures, so it kind of sucks a little bit. But um, it does look nice. I don't know if a lot of fans are asking for this set, but it is kind of funny that they're, you know, doing the uh, uh, new version of one of the very first Clone Wars sets. I find that a little nostalgically funny. 
Um, but that's all the that's all the Lego Star Wars images we have here, guys. So what's interesting, and as I also heard rumors about a V19 Clone Wars set uh, with like a bunch of clone troopers and stuff that's supposed to be come out in the summer 2018. I don't think this is all the sets. I think there's a couple more sets that Lego is going to reveal if uh, if not later in the month, uh, but when they finally come out, I guess in a couple of months, all of these sets are set to release in uh, August of 2018. So just a couple months from this video. Uh, but I believe there's still more sets to be revealed. And I find that interesting that LEGO still hasn't revealed all of the sets. Maybe, again, going back to the Chinese brand story, I think that also has something to do with why they only showed four out of what I believe is seven or eight sets that are going to come out in the summer. Also, there's still rumblings about an Ultimate Collector Series Cloud City set. That makes sense why they haven't revealed that. Usually they reveal UCS sets like a month before they come out. So that's supposed to come out in like September, October timeframe. So it makes sense. They'll probably announce that around August. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Um, this is a new type of video for me. Usually with these uh, set reveals, I usually just throw some pictures and put some music with it. But I figured I'd talk about them. Also, I wanted to share that awesome story with you guys. I hope that was interesting to you. Leave me down in the comments below. Let me know if all of these sets total up to about $310. Is $310 worth the four sets that have been revealed today. Let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to see. Please leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Stay subscribed, or if you haven't already subscribed, please, because uh, I have some great new videos coming out, and I'm currently working on this massive crate mock. I've done Scarif, and I've done Kashyyyk, um, so if you want to see those mocks, click my channel link down below, and of course, subscribe. Um, that's going to be it, guys. More content coming soon. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.